the easy answer for why everyone needs a coach is we're trapped in our own sense of reality, the story we've created about ourselves, our ego identity, and the instructions for getting out of that box are on the outside of the box. You need someone who can see what you can't see. I need someone who can see my blind spots, who can help me with my own patterns and see my inconsistencies of thinking, the lies I tell myself, because I can't. And so that's why everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs a good sounding board. Everybody needs a mirror to bounce back to them the information, almost like a bat, so that I know where I really am in my consciousness and my awareness of how I'm dealing with reality. Otherwise, I get caught in my own trip over and over again, hear my own messages, hear my own lies, believe my own stories. I create my own spell, my own prison, if I don't have a coach. Well, coaching is good for entrepreneurs like it's good for everybody else, especially for entrepreneurs who are trying to perform at their absolute peak, who are risking their future, paying attention to every dollar, trying to coordinate with teams, trying to balance their work and home life, trying to find a way to continue to create that muse, that new idea, understand vast amounts of information, create a change in their own life and the lives of others. All those things require someone to catch me in my blind spots, help me see what I'm doing, give me perspective when I lose it because I get emotional. And so everybody needs coaching, but especially people who are seeking to be at their very best and trying to especially be change agents. It's wonderful to work with others about the truth, about their shadows, their blind spots, their ways of having created mental patterns that don't serve them. Because it's a constant reminder for us that we need to keep aware our shadow in front of us, those things I'd rather not realize about myself, pretend that don't exist or aren't true about myself, need to be the very things I'm holding in my awareness as I go through life so that they don't trip me up sneak up behind me and otherwise cause me to behave in ways that aren't true to who I really am and want to be. So because we work with people in that way so much, it gives us a constant reminder, a constant blessing, uh, and then to watch people have their own transformation in front of us is a, a beautiful uh, example and inspiration for us. I have seen the sun go through the summer sky 65 times now in my life and I am happier than I have ever been for a variety of reasons including my beautiful angel bride, my own devotion to being physically fit and willingness to keep putting myself into the fire of change, transformation and face all those things I would otherwise like to hide, repress and deny all my shadows, all my fears, all my wounds are the areas in which I'm willing to walk through, to cleanse, to, as the old alchemists would do, to turn gross metal into gold. As I age myself, I recognize the relationship I've developed with my body doesn't serve me, and so I began to study what it was that the body was asking for that I wasn't knowing, understanding, listening to. And as I thought about it and used Eastern Taoist yoga techniques to access what the body was trying to say. I learned secrets that allow me to heal, be more comfortable in my body, pay attention to the major exercise places, and have um, have real a, a new relationship with my body. I communicate with my body. It helps me be my body whisperer. When the body hurts, it's not a problem. It's the body communicating to you and there are things that you can then do in response that allow you to be comfortable in your body, heal your body, even old injuries and conditions can be eased or eliminated from your experience. Your body just needs you to listen to it. Everybody needs coaching.